Hey guys, so, uh, basically, that last Animal Crossing video was from about a month and a half ago when I first played it, and, um, I've been playing the, the crap out of it ever since, so basically today, I think I'm just gonna do an island tour, so let's just, let's just get into it. Oh shit, I got mail. So basically, I'm just gonna run through what the island looks like while I'm doing my dailies. Alright, so as you can see, from the last time, uh, there have been some changes. Basically, I decided to make the entirety of my, uh, Delfino Plaza, if you will, just all centralized in one area, and then the other places would be, like, locales for, like, diff different resources and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just take a look at some of the more major aspects of my island. Currently, my villagers are, uh, me, T-Bone, who he actually, T-Bone actually moved in without my permission, and I kind of hate him. So he lives away from everybody else. We got Sylvana, we got Tank, Pashmina, Greta, Ken, Cranston, Flora, Camo Frog, and, uh, Nan. So I still have my original two villagers from that first video from just a few days ago. I still don't have Peanut. It's been about a month and a half, and, uh, I've been saving up my Nook Miles, uh, in the off chance that somebody moves out, and I can go island hop and looking for Peanut. The, the chances that I'm gonna get Peanut are very, very low, but, you know, I'm holding out. I'm still hoping. This is our little band, uh, area. Me and the boys tend to play, like, P KK Bubblegum every Tuesday. Tank's pretty good at guitar. Cranston tends to play the keyboard. Well, I, I, I just sort of jam out on this, uh, this xylophone. <clears throat> so if we go just up the right side of the residence center, we see that we have my, uh, Nook's Cranny. It's incredibly easy for my friends to come over if they need to sell their fruit, and they just turn right, and there's my Nook's Cranny. And then above it is my Taylor's. Pashmina's house is up here. How's it going, Flora? Uh, as you probably heard, a la my Animal Crossing New Leaf Village. I set my town tune to Saria's song from Legend of Zelda. Uh, you know, old habits. As you can see, we got a bit of a subdivision situation going up here in, in the Delfino Plaza. Uh, I think what I want to do is what I did down here. So basically the situation is I want everybody to have a lawn. So there used to be a house between these two houses, but I think that having everything all cramped together leaves too much empty open space everywhere else on the island, so I'm going to be extending this subdivision. And maybe building out the back, because I gave everybody a backyard, but I feel like that's not enough space. So I think I'm going to remove this house and this house, and either move them back or just move them to a different locale entirely. But not everybody lives here, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, my campsite's just up here. I think it's important to make the the people that come visit my island feel like they're, you know, part of the uh, part part of the local fauna, if you will. So all they do is come down here and, and make some friends, even though uh, even though they never leave their their fucking tent. Um, yeah, I got a bit of a walkway situation going on here. Uh, just past the band area, some like nice flowers. I think that the uh, the orange and, and uh, blue pansies are definitely my favorite color of pansy, so I'm going to be decorating my entire village with those. We've also got some roses, uh, just some miscellaneous trees, and I'm hoping to eventually make every single tree on my island a fruit tree, so that not only do they provide wood, but they also provide a, a source of income. Uh, right here is my orchard, and I only noticed recently after I put the path through, it's, um, it's uneven. <laughs> I've been using this orchard for the past month and a half, and I only just discovered that it's uneven. I think I assumed that the bridge would be three blocks wide. Blocks, in, in big air quotes. Blocks, or units, or whatever the hell you want to call this. This right here is two units wide, and I expected it to be three so that the path would run through here. But that's my fault. You know, I didn't think ahead. I could demolish this bridge and replace it with a bigger bridge, but I, I don't I don't want to spend the money. I actually kind of wish I filmed this on a better day. Ooh, ooh. Looks like the money tree is, uh, in full swing this season. Now, if you're anything like me, you should immediately chop down any useless tree in your orchard before you accidentally leave it there, thinking it's some kind of mythical fruit tree. But yeah, at the end of the orchard is a boardwalk. Just like a little food stand. Um, there's some rides. 
There's snacks, gumball, and uh, look, there's even a place to go poo. And a little bit of a lifeguard situation in case anybody wants to go swimming, but they did not put that in this game. I thought that I would have a wetsuit by now. <laughs> and if we go from back down here in the boardwalk to up here, there's this completely blank, empty space. Uh, I think what I want to do with it is, uh, I was pretty inspired by like the Mayday maze. I think what I want to do is I want to have an area where somebody can drop off all their items and then go through the maze and sort of solve it, uh, you know, a la like, like Metroidvania style. I kind of really like that idea, so I think that's what I'm going to implement right here. You gotta spend money to make money. Right down here we have uh, my little setup. Uh, as some of you know, the recent, most recent update added Red, and Red will park his boat right here, and you can buy art from him. Uh, I'm not sure what day that is, I've only ever had it happen once, but... Uh, I'm gonna be putting, like, nautical-themed stuff down here. It's just sort of kind of barren right now, because uh, I don't really have anything nautical-themed. Uh, this is where T-Bone lives. I basically set T-Bone aside, because this is where the graveyard used to be, and I used to refer to him as Grave Master T-Bone. But T-Bone is no longer the Grave Master. Let's go see what he's up to. T-Bone, you piece of shit. Have you decided to move out? <laughs> Schmozy. Oh, I didn't put my bridge down. Okay, I'm gonna put a bridge down right here. But, imagine instead of me doing this, uh, imagine me walking across a very nice looking bridge. Because I do not have the funds for it yet. Please believe me, it's gonna go right there. We go up here to the area where I live, that's my house. But I made this little fishing hole right here because uh, me and my friends tend to fish on the third plateau in ponds. So I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Now I don't know if this constitutes a pond still or if it's a... Uh, or if it, con if, it, if it means it's a, uh, a river just because of the way I set it up. But this is a pretty recent addition. So, uh, yeah, one person could sit here and watch the other's fish, I guess. Uh, we'll come back to my house, we'll show you my, 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 my house situation right now. It's not great, but, you know, at least it's fully upgraded. Now, if we just schmozy over here to the left side of my home, uh, you can see I not only moved my graveyard, but I, uh, made it better. Don't ask about the bodies. Don't ask. I wonder if it would genuinely make me uncomfortable if I moved to a brand new, like, a brand new island and I found this many graves. I think I'm gonna, like, decorate this area right here with, like, flowers or maybe, like, a path or something and have it lead back to the, uh, original subdivision via, like, a really long bridge, like I saw on Twitter. Now, if we schmozy down these ramps and take a left of Roni, you guys can see where I have been breeding my flowers. I haven't really decided what I want to breed right here, but currently it's, um... So basically right now I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm breeding lilies and I'm breeding roses, and then I have some miscellaneous flowers down here. Just some pansies and some mums. Uh, my island flower is mums, but I don't really like the look of, if you look at these, uh, hylacanths and these, um... Anyway, these sort of, like, fuzzy looking flowers aren't really my forte, so I don't, I don't like them. I like, like, leafy, uh nice looking petaled flowers like the roses i'm gonna try to breed as many black roses as possible so that i can eventually when i get my island rating high enough i can get gold roses really really easily so that i can share them with my friends this is a newest addition to delfino why don't we go say hello you're never gonna believe who i got i mean you already know because i i, I read it out but look who it is it's it's Camo Frog, bro. Where is he? What's that noise? Where is he? I can't see a thing. Oh, he must be over here. Get it? Because he's Camo I think that's basically it. I have a small setup on my beach over here. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Ah! So I got this little, like, fireplace set up. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I put this down like the second day, and it's just sort of like the only thing that stayed. No, 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 no! Alright, well I guess it's time for a house tour. As you can see, I kept the basic house because I just... I just look... I like the look of the original Animal Crossing house. There's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people might have this, and I don't really feel the need to be special in that regard. I just like the way it looks the way it is. Okay? Sue me. I guess I'll bring my shoots in. 
So right out the gate you can see that I am not trained in the art of feng shui. So this is my kitchen. I think that the situation would be somebody sitting right here. And uh, while somebody, well one person is sitting right there, uh, somebody else could be like over here cooking up a storm like tss, like tss, like yeah, this is my kitchen situation so far. It's not too bad. It's a little cluttered, but I think that the idea is that you want as many items in one room as possible so you can get the highest Happy Home Association award. Okay. Let's move on. We have a bathroom. Uh, you can poop here if you want. You can wash your hands like you should be. As you can see, I got two bathtubs in case, like, you bring a bro over and you want to like you want to have one in this tub or, or and one in this tub and you guys are just like hanging out and like talking uh, I got a water cooler in case I get thirsty after a, a hearty um, poop now up here is my personal bedroom um yeah so I don't really have a lot going on in my room uh, I haven't given it much thought as you see I got VLC media player sitting in the corner and uh, that's about it now you're gonna love the upstairs, okay? I put a lot of thought and effort into the upstairs. You're gonna love this. All right, so basically, I decided that the theme of this room would be turnips. And uh, the only thing I would do up here is just store my turnips and until I got a good price for turnips. Okay, moving on to the basement. Now, I actually haven't been down into the basement yet, so uh, I'm just kind of wondering what's gonna be going on down here. What the hell? What's going on down here? What is this? What's the turnip prices, my friend? <laughs>